Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Salar Khan here. And today with another conversion. Alright. So today uh, we left with two octal and decimal. So first we go with the octal numbers. So converting. Uh, from octal. Uh, to. Alright. So now we see uh, the conversion. Of the octal number system so let me take the color <coughs> sorry all right so uh, first let's say we convert from the octal number system into the decimal system from octal to the decimal system all right this is this is the easiest one so we've seen the octal is a weighted system the decimal is a weighted system the simplest way to convert, uh, the, the basic way, the basic way to convert from any system to decimal system is to multiply it by its weight. So, right, let's say we have we have an octal number, a naught, a one, a two, a three, let's say, till a n, and then we have a decimal point over here, and then we have a negative one, a negative two, a negative three, up to a negative n all right so this is let's say a, a, an, an octal number with with this being its integer part integer part and after the decimal point this is the decimal point and after the decimal point we have the fraction part all right so to convert any number any number if the specifically today we'll be speaking about the octal so you multiply each and every term with its weight, all right? Now this A0 has a weight in this octal system equal to 8 to the power 0. So you multiply it, A0 would be multiplied to 8 to the power 0, all right? Then we have A1 into 8 to the power 1. Similarly, A2 into 8 to the power 2. And similarly, you continue till you have this a n into a to the power n. All right. And similarly, you go after the decimal part, but you multiply it with the negative weights. The weights are negative in this case. Now, a negative one would be multiplied with a to the power negative one. A negative two would be multiplied to a to the power negative two. And similarly, it will go on and on until it reaches eight a in negative n multiplied to a to the power negative n. You multiply all of this by its weight and then you do what? You add them up simply. You add them up and the resultant sum would be the, uh, the decimal equivalent, all right? How's that? Let's have an example. Example is, uh, let's say 57.4. We have, for example, 57.4 and it is in base 8. And we, we want to know its value in base 10. So the decimal point is our reference point. From the left, we, uh, we take the positive weights and, and, and to the right, we, we take the negative weights. So over here we have the decimal point now 7. 7 would be uh, multiplied with 8 to the power 0. Uh, and then this 5 would be multiplied to 8 to the power 1. And this 4 would be multiplied to 8 to the power negative 1. And these 3 would then be added up. So 8 to the power 1 is 8. And 8 fives are 40. And then we have 8 to the power 0 is 1. And plus uh, 7 we have. And then 8 to the power negative 1 is 1 over 8. So 4 into 1 over 8 is 1 over 2. And 1 over 2 is what? It's 0.5. So, which means the decimal equivalent for this 57.4 is what? It is 47.5. Is that clear? Okay. Uh, let's say we have another example. 601. 601 is the number in uh, base 8. And we need it in base 10. Okay. So we don't have any decimal point, so it's more easier. Then we have a 1 into 8 to the power 0. 
we have a 0 into 8 to the power 1 and we have a 6 into 8 to the power 2 and you add all of them. Now this would equal what? 8 to the power 2, 8 eighths are uh, 64 and 64 into 6 is uh, 256 I believe. Uh, it is 8, no. It's a 384, 384, okay? So we have 384, and then we have this is a 0, and this would be 1. 0, and the last one would be 1. So the decimal equivalent of 601 in base 8 is 385. All right? So simple as it is, all right? Okay, so the next thing we have is the converting from octal to the binary number system. Binary. And in case of binary, we see, uh, now we know that in the case of octal system, we have the base is equal to 8. Base is 8, so we have digits from 0 to 7 over here. And these digits, 0 to 7, can be represented by a number in 3 bits. Okay? Each digit... can be represented as an equivalent 3-bit number. Alright, and how is this? So we see, okay? Uh, the numbers are what? The numbers are 0, 1, uh, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. How do you write it in, in, in the three bits form? A zero is what? It is zero, zero, zero. Then we have a zero, zero, one. Then we have zero, one, zero. Then we have zero, one, one. Then we have one, zero, zero. One, zero, one. All right. One, one, zero. And one, one, one. So these are the three. Uh, equivalents. These are the binary equivalents for the 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. All right. Now, how are these? These are written from the powers of 2. Powers of 2. And I told you, you should at least remember a few powers of 2. So, 2 to the power 0 is 1, 2 to the power 1 is 2, 2 to the power 2 is 4, 2 to the power 3 is 8, 2 to the power 4 is 16, 2 to the power 5. Is 32 to the power uh, 6 is 64, then we have 128, then we have 256, then we have 1024, and so on. So we're here we have it till 3 bits. So so which means this 1, 2, and 4 is our concern and nothing more. So now you have what? We have a zero, so all the bits are zero. Okay. We have one, so the third bit is high only. And we have a 1. Then we have a 2. So 2 is the second bit. So the second bit is high. Then we have 3. So which means 3 is 2 plus 1. Which makes the first and the second bit from the right high. Then we have 4. So the third from the right uh, is high. A fifth. A first and the last are high. So which 5 is 4 plus 1. And 6 is what? 1 and 1. So the leftmost and then the second is high. And and 7, all of them are high. So at three bit, in 3 bits, 7 is the highest number you can represent uh, uh, in binary, okay? Well, talking of 3 bits, because all the 3 are high. So 7 is the highest you can represent. So this is just for the, this, the system's digits, okay? So now how do we convert? So for that, we have an example. Let's say we have... Uh, 37.45 in 8. For example, we have 37.45 in base 8, and we need its what? We need its decimal equivalent, which would be a large value, of course. Okay. So now you write them individually, okay? You just you memorize them, and you write them individually. I've told you the method of memorizing. Change in the rightmost chain once. 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. Then in the second column, you change the group of 2. 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. And then in the group of, in the third, change the group of 4. So 4 zeros, 4 ones, okay? So now, have a look. 3 is what? 3, 0, 1, 1. You write, you write it over there directly. 
zero, one, one. Then seven is what? One, one, one. One, one, one. Four is what? One, zero, zero. We have a decimal, we have one, zero, zero. And then five is what? It's one, zero, one. So this is the decimal equivalent for 37.45. All right. Let's have another example. 672.13. Uh, 672.13 in base 8. And this equals uh, what in base 10 now? So have a look. 6 is what? 6 is 1, 1, 0. 1, 1, 0. Uh, 7 is 1, 1, 1. 1, 1, 1. 2 is one, 0, 0, 1. Then we have a decimal. One is uh, zero zero one. No, sorry. Two is two is one zero one zero. Okay. Two is zero one zero, and then we have one which is zero zero one, and then we have three which is zero one one. So this is the decimal. Uh, bin uh, this is the binary equivalent. I told you wrong over here also. So this is the binary equivalent of this base eight number. All right. Is that fine? Now, if I gave you a question to solve yourself, can you solve it? Try it, okay? You convert 762.143. This is in base 8. And you convert it to base 2. All right? And then you let me know the answer in the comment section, okay? Okay. The next that we have is converting from octal to hexadecimal. All right. Uh, now, one thing we need to keep in mind that if we have a, a number in uh, octal, we can convert it to binary. And if we have a number in binary, we can convert it to hexadecimals. All right, so what was the other we We can we convert from octal to binary, and we can convert from binary to hexadecimals. And similar is the way that we can uh, convert from hexadecimals to binary, and we can convert from binary to octal. But if we have to convert from octal to hexadecimals directly, that is not possible. This octal to hexadecimals and in the same way hexadecimals to octal, this is also not possible directly. Not possible directly, okay? So in this our topic is octal to hexadecimal. So we do what? Convert to binary first. Convert to binary first and we know how to convert to binary we've seen in this very video okay so let's have an example let's say we have a 345 345 in base 8 and we need its equivalent uh, base 16 number okay so this 345 can be converted into a binary by, by what method? 345 in base 8 in first binary. So, so take the individual bits. 3 is 0, 1, 1. Then 4 is 1, 0, 0. And then 5 is 1, 0, 1. And that's all. So this is in binary. Now this number in binary has to be converted in, into the hexadecimal system. And we've seen that in the previous video. If you have not seen that, so go back and watch that video first. How to convert binary into hexadecimals. We make a group of fours. Group of four bits. So now, how are these groups made? These are made from the right, okay? So let's say we have a 0, 1, 1, uh, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1. This is in binary and we need it in the hexadecimals. So the group of fours, this is the first group of four. And one, two, three, this is the second and we, this is zero, so this doesn't matter, okay? So the first group, this is to the power zero is uh, high and two to the power two is high. So four and one, five. 
and then we have over here eight is high four is high uh, eight four and then two is high so we have eight in four twelve and two fourteen so fourteen in hexadecimals is represented by e all right so this is a 16 equivalent so the base 16 equivalent for 345 is what it's e5 e5 all right let's have another example 1657 1657 is the example 1657 is the given number in base 8 and you need to convert it to base 16 so first converting it to base uh, 2 all right so 1 is 0 0 1 okay and then 6 is uh, 6 is over here 1 1 0 and then 5 is 1 0 1 and then 7 is 1 1 1 1 1 1 so this is in base 2 all right now grouping in fours so we have this is the first group of four then we have one two three four this is the first second and this is the third so have a look now these are all one so this would be 15 and 15 is is represented by f in the hexadecimal system so this would be an f and then we have uh this is eight and uh, eight into ten so ten is a and then this is uh one and two three so this is the base 16 equivalent of this binary number and this binary is the uh, equivalent of this 8 system so which makes this equal to uh, from the associative law a is equal to b b is equal to c from the transition property sorry so if a is equal to b and b is equal to c so which makes this a equal to c so this would be 3 a f in base 16 numbers okay so that's all about the octal number conversions you try to solve some more examples from the book from anywhere else you get you have any problem you ask me in the comment section all right i'll be trying to explain it and that's all for today from my side thank you very much for watching see you in the next lecture very soon in which we'll be seeing the last conversion that is the hexadecimal system conversion uh, until then take care of yourselves and everyone around you goodbye